And hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Sacred Rings. As usual, this is Dennis. I am Tan Staffel, the Paleo Gamer, and I am your host. If you last remember, when we left Umang, he had found his way to the Keeper's Portal, the one leading to the Keeper's home, and the portal burned out. The power source burned out, so the portal wouldn't work. The Watcher of the Portal, Michael, told him he could find a new power source, but in order to do that, he had to visit the four worlds and solve the problems of the inhabitants of those four worlds, or at least get them to help. So that's where we're going to be starting tonight. We're going to go explore each of the four worlds and see what we can do from there. To get to the four worlds, we need to ride this unlikely contraption, which is a roller coaster, basically. Each of these buttons leads to one of the four worlds, and this button leads back to here, which is why I can't activate it right now. Uh, we have to do things in kind of a particular order on these guys. I'm going to save you some time. And we're going to start where we need to go. This is the world with the mine in it. So let's hit the lever and let's go for a ride. And I kind of like the little roller coaster ride here, so it does get old after a while. We're using this a lot. Um, I will confess, I want to play this game when they're going to not go through it because I'm sure this will be absolutely amazing in the rift zone. I'll probably just get sick of my lunch. But Hey, it's like a real roller coaster, right? Anyway, here we are. And let's go explore this nice, green, leafy world. Oh, there's someone over here. Maybe you can help us. Good day. Says you? There are precious few good days for Nafal in this world. What is your name, stranger? I am Umang. I came from the portal. It is in need of repair, and I... Why should I care about the portal? It's broken, you say? Well, I suppose you'd better repair it if you intend to use it. Do you know anything about the sign of the Shadow Legion? The Shadow Legion? Yes, I know of them. But I know nothing of this sign that you speak of. Well, thanks anyway. Farewell, stranger. Well, that was kind of less than useful. Let's go on down this way. That squeaking noise. That thing, I guess. Is that a spinning wheel over there? There's a boarded up mine of some kind over there. It's just sort of ends there. A well. Uh, we have this thing that we can ring. But we don't know what to do with it yet. So nothing to do but go back and ask some more questions. Where's the sky? It's much brighter here than it is on the other side of those rocks. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be a different world or what. I found an abandoned mine nearby. Do you know how I can get down there? You mean the mine where the Shadow Legion's executioner lives? Shadow Legion executioner? Yes, well, actually, former executioner would be more accurate. He's more outcast than executioner these days. What's his name? His name is Ferd. Why is this Ferd an outcast? When Ferd was the executioner, he had a son, Rizan. Rizan was a good lad, not at all like his father and the rest of the Shadow Legion. Rizan fell in love with a young woman named Mila, who was the concubine of Bargul, the Shadow Legion's leader. They kept their love a secret from everyone for a long time. But one day, Bargul's advisor saw the two of them together 
and reported it to his master. Argul was furious. He ordered the girl, Mila, to be sealed in a wall while still alive. Trey, the advisor who had revealed the two lovers, killed himself shortly thereafter. They say that Mila's ghost was haunting him. Bargul ordered Ferd to execute Rizan. Ferd tried to resist, but Bargul's magician, Gugan, used magic too powerful for the executioner to resist. He fulfilled his obligation, killing his own son. But when the spell wore off and Ferd realized what he had done, he went mad. Bargul gave Ferd his son's ashes and turned him out into the world. For a long time, Ferd wandered the world until he finally settled here. Would it be possible for me to speak to this man? He of all people would know of the Shadow Legion's sign. My wife, Sarah, takes food to him every day. Perhaps she'd be willing to help you. So, yeah, Mila gets sealed in a wall. Was Mila's last name Fortunata by any chance? Did they make that deal under over a cast Somebody here? Who knows? Where's Sarah? Oh, hello, Sarah. Hello, ma'am. Good day, young man. I was wondering, what do you know about the Keeper's Portal? I know nothing of such things. Why should I? I think you had better talk to my husband, Nafal. Nafal told me that you might be willing to help me get into the Executioner's mind. Did he also tell you about my headaches? I have been out of medicine for over a year now. Did he mention the tincture, Lucari? No, the subject never came up. Well then, I have nothing to tell you either. Okay, Nafal's wife Sarah's had a headache for over a year. Um, I guess we know why Nafal has not had a good day in a long time. Alright, I just picked up a flask. I don't know if you caught that or not. We're going to need that. There's nothing we can do here right now. So we're going to head back, and we're going to visit the next world. This time we need to go up here. And we're going to try to find a future bouquet to help Sarah get over her finish. And this looks like a place that the man should be happy in. Oh yes, this is just like home, isn't it? Far above the clouds, precipitous drop, no handrails. Oh, there's a handrail there. Well, maybe not. Okay, there's a door it's here. Locked. Yes, we noticed that. Um, what you need to do is pull this little thing to ring the bell, and this drawer opens. Now, you can put any item you're carrying into the drawer, but the only one they will take is the amulet, which is actually a good thing, because we're wanting to get rid of that amulet. So, now we can go inside. Hello, my name is Umang, and you are? You'd never remember my real name, even if I told you. But people call me Hemus. Pleased to meet you, Hemus. Charmed. Now, is there something I can do for you? Or are you just here to exchange pleasantries? Actually, I am in need of something. Fine. Well, before we get started, what do you have for me? But I already gave you the amulet. And that was your price of admission. Now, what else do you have? The amulet is all that I have. That's it? Is today Sunday? Can you hear the bells ringing or angels' voices? Does my house look like a church to you? Why are you wasting my time? 
I had hoped that you could help me. For nothing? <laughs> you must be joking. If I do that, everyone will think that old Himis has gone soft. Well, maybe I could do something for you. Is there anything you need? Hmm. Now that's a thought. I help you, and you can owe me. Owe you? Yes, you'll be in my debt. I don't usually do anything like this, but times are hard. And you do look like a trustworthy sort. You can trust me, don't worry. Oh, I'm not worried. I'll keep your information right here in my book, number 247. Umang. Got it. You're now on my permanent record. Thanks. I think. By the way, because you owe me, you'll have to serve yourself somehow. I'm a little busy right now. Try not to break anything in here, okay? Okay, while it's annoying that Hemis here doesn't want to help us, um, I'll also point out this is the first time in our entire quest that the person has not just fallen over themselves trying to help the Mang. So it is nice to be a little different. But he's going to put us in his book, is he? Man, that's a long ways down. He's going to put us in our book, is he? Fine. I'll take his book. Ha! All right. What we need to do is we need to go over here. This is the alchemy mixing area. So the first thing we need to do is look at this book. And we actually need to start at the end of the book. So the Tincher Lucari. The Tincher Lucari is made up, it's a square, and it's made up of a circle with a line and a circle with a T. All right. A circle with a line is cure oil, and it's made up of that symbol, that symbol, and that symbol. Now, these up here are one quarter, one half, and one quarter. So, one part of that, two parts that, and one part that. The other half is moon elixir, which is made up of one part of that, two parts of that, and, or excuse me, one part of that, and two parts of that. All right. So what are these things? They're on the first page. For example, the cure oil is made up of this, which is mercury vine. It is made up of this, which is vinegar oil, and it is made up of this, which is morning dew. Now, actually, we don't need to know the actual names. We just need to know the little pictures. So this is really all we need right here. But that's how we make the tincture we carry glowing butterflies here. We use this machine. Now you notice these have symbols on them. I have two mixing cups here and another mixing cup here. First thing I'm going to do is put the flask, the bottle, the thing I picked up from Sarah's room, down here. Now I need to do this in the correct order. The first thing I need to make is the cure oil. Now the cure oil, if you remember, was this is mercury vine. It uses one unit of that. I need to use vinegar oil, which is that. And I need two units of it. And there's two. And I need morning dew, which is that. There's the first half. That's the cure oil. Now I need to switch over to the other thing. Now, moon elixir, I need some unicorn blood, which is that. I need some sea salt, which is that. And I need two units of moon water, which is that symbol. All right. Now I have to mix these two together, and I have to do them in the right order. I put this one in first, and I need to put this one in. Okay. 
And now that they're mixed, I can put them into flask. And if you did that in the wrong order, you would go shocked when you try to put a flask and have to do it over again. Okay, we now have the flask. So let's go back and tell Sarah that we have her tinctured character. down here. Let's go ride the roller coaster again. And I have to actually get, pick up the flask and give it to her. Sarah, I think I have what you need. My medication? Yes. For my headaches. Yes, for your headaches. This is the tincture Lucari. That's what you asked for, right? You are very kind, young man. It is heartening to see that there are still good people in this world. How can I thank you? I'd like to descend into the mine and talk with Ferd. Can you help me? Of course. Take this. It will help you to contact Ferd. Thanks for your help. No, thank you. Okay, does she just keep that sphere in the bed with her? Okay. Yeah, you see, it's much more overcast here. I'm not sure why this area is different. Now, even though you would think the mine is over there, it's not. The mine is actually that shaft, so I don't get it either. We get it with this thing. Put the sphere here, and then click on it. Now we have to match that sound with these bells. Now. You can play around with it if you like. Um, the actual pattern is four, five, four, two, five, one. Notice the sphere vanished. It's going back to Sarah. Go away. Ferd, I just want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you or anyone. Be gone. Or I will make sure you never see the light of another day. And look, someone else who isn't falling over themselves to help me make. This is going to be a habit, isn't it? All right. Go back and try to talk to Sarah again to see if she can give us any more clues. We get... This isn't medicine. It's worthless. If you can't help me, go away! Well, apparently the tincture the Kiri didn't do what it needed to do. Let's go back over here and pick up the flask. It still has the elixir in it. And apparently she can get it from bed enough to carry it over there, so... Huh. Oh well. Well, we don't know what's wrong with our mixture right now, and we can't get into the mine, so we need to go exploring a bit further. So, right now we're going to go to a different world. We're going to go down to this world. And I may start skipping over the game. Arrival as well. 
need to be alive on all the worlds before I start skipping. We got this portal with a stargate on it up here. We can't go through that. But if I push these buttons, the form of the block changes. Let me through or I'll break you. Notice that's the only one that Umang actually says anything about. And it's also the one that all the others are active. That one's just a static ice, I guess that's supposed to be. But I can use the crowbar, remember it. And I hate to tell people this, but I could probably have gotten around that anyway. There's actually a side path right there that I just walked past. We don't need to get through it yet. Go up to this building. Now the thing here... See the frog has three lines coming from him? The frog just croaked once. There he goes. That's the second croak. Alright, now that the frog has croaked three times, I can go inside. If I did, went through before the cro frog had croaked three times, I would have found myself back outside again. So, wait for the frog to croak three times. And let's go talk to this person. Oh, hello. What is your name? I'm Umang. Oh, man. Do you know who I am? I'm afraid not. My name is Reina. Some consider me a sorcerer, but they're wrong. I'm actually a fairy. A rather kind one, if I may say so myself. Tell me, Umen. Do I look kind to you? Yes, you do. You are a good judge of character. I'm beginning to like you. Reina, on the rainy world, and she's a fairy. What is it that you want? Um, well, I was hoping you could tell me about the sign of the Shadow Legion. Why don't you ask the Shadow Legion about it? I don't think they'd be inclined to answer. Fine, then what can you tell me about the Keeper's portal? That is a portal that belongs to the Keepers. <laughs> now, now, don't be offended, Umang. It's just that I'm a fairy, not a librarian. Come to me with your requests, but not with your questions. Okay. What is it that you want? I need to talk to Ferd, the former executioner. You have no one else to speak to? No one that can help me, no. <laughs> this will be difficult. Ferd was a member of the Shadow Legion. The story of his son is a sad and tragic one. In order for me to help you, you must bring me the ashes of his son. What? Why? I don't think he's likely to just hand over his son's ashes. There is more. In addition, I require a book of alchemy. The alchemist Hemus has one. And Hemus will give me this book? You must find a way to obtain it. And of course, all this will be between you and me, my dear. I suppose that to reach an honorable goal, one must sometimes do questionable things. I was right about you. You are wise. In the fields, during your travels, you will see a butterfly. This will provide you with a hint that will help you. Now, go, and good luck. Okay, yeah, I had to keep talking to her several times before she would give me everything. There's several places like that in the game where you have to keep asking people the same things over and over again. We have to go over here. I don't need some stuff over here, or I need some stuff from over here. I don't need it right away, but the game won't let me leave until I have picked it up. So pick up this glowing jar here and look at, there's a book we need to look at. It's right here. It tells us that we can change the weather to fog, rain, or lightning using these powerful spells. Fog, rain, and lightning. But we need, we have to place all the mood statues on the correct altar to cast the spell. And notice that fog is these Lines, rain is rain, and lightning looks like a poker chip. I guess that's why it's raining here. And maybe Raina just likes it raining. Maybe that's why it's raining. Alright. 
The mood statues are up there. We don't need to do anything with them right now. Or we can't, really. So we're going to head on back this way. And I'm going to stop just before the portal here. You go down this side path. Now right here is a butterfly. Remember she said the butterfly would help us? If I click on the butterfly, it will start flying around. Notice it turns yellow, green, blue, purple, green, red, and then back to white. So that's yellow, green, blue, purple, green, red. You need to remember that colors. Because we're going to do need those in a minute. This is the hint. Alright. Now we need to go back to the ice world where the alchemist is. Because we have to get a book of alchemy. Alright. Remember the ice world is here. It's interesting that the rail ends just on the other side of that portal. If that portal ever doesn't fire off, you're going to be in big trouble when you come out of it. Although if this rail ends on the other side of the portal, you're going to be in bigger trouble when you go through it. So, whatever. Let's go do a bit more stuff here. Alright. Chemist is still in hiding. Ignoring us, which is good. Uh, the area we went into before, the alchemy table, is over here. This time I'm going to go up here and go up these stairs. Now, this is a bit of an annoying puzzle. The book we need is down here, but it's covered by that shield. And we have to find a way to get the shield open. The way I do that is I pick up this rod. Even if that's a go icon, I don't actually go anywhere. I just pick up the rod. And then this starts happening. These little trails start moving around. You notice there's also, right over here, there's little lights showing what I've done. They're all white right now. Remember the yellow, green, blue, purple, green, red? I have to click on these things as they turn that color with the tip of this staff I'm now holding and click on them in that order yellow green blue purple green red the problem is these things are moving and they're changing color constantly and if I do it wrong I have to back out and start over again so let's try to find a yellow that's our first color and they're all yellow See, it didn't take. I was clicking on it, it didn't take. You have to hit it at just the right spot. There's a yellow again. Okay, see, I got a yellow. My next color is green. There's a green. Now I need a blue. Blue. Now I need a purple. Got a purple. Now I need a green again. And when two of them overlap with each other, it never gives you the one you want. There's green, and the last color I need is red. And I got it. So they're all done. Okay. Now there's two things here. The first thing is this piece of paper. Which it doesn't show me, it just puts it in the book. Great. So let's go read the book. And of course the book's the last thing I had on it. Okay. I am sure the keeper's portal the keeper's portal requires a massive amount of energy to work. This much energy would only be comparable to a lightning strike. Oh, so it needs 1.21 gigawatts. Now I get it. Then we get standard medications that had no effect on Sarah's headache. I have discovered that adding a flower from the sorceress's swamp works perfectly. So I have to add something to the medication. That's why it didn't work. And that sorceress came and wanted to borrow a book. Didn't give it to her. And she took one of the butterflies. 
Hmm, I wonder if that's the butterfly that we saw was glowing in the field. But this gives us all the clues we really need to solve some other stuff. We need a lightning strike, and we know that Reyna can summon lightning. We know we need to add a flower to Sarah's medication, and that just tells us that the um, rain has been involved. So now I can pick up this book. Now the problem is, if I try to leave right now, the door won't open. It's locked. Because the book's missing. What I have to do is put another book here. Well, let's just put Hemis's book. Remember the one that he wrote our name down in? There. Now I can leave. Okay, there's nothing I can do here right now, so we're just going to head back and go to Rainus World. Can find the path right there. Can never find that path there for some reason. This is actually a cutscene playing out. See, there's the butterfly we saw earlier. And what a coincidence. A flower grew, just when we're looking for a flower. Could that possibly be the flower we want? Of course it is. And it's right over here where sure, the butterfly is. This looks like the Lucari flower. You think? Let's head back and go back up to the Alchemist Road one more time. Games like this would work in Arnoculus Rift. I mean, outside of the, oh, it'll be neat to go down the um, roller coaster with it. Just, you know, incorporate the eye tracking properly. Okay, what we need to do now, I'm over here to the left. Remember, that's the book we looked at earlier? There's this machine right here that's obviously a grinder of some kind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bottle underneath it. I'm going to open the top of it and put the flower we just picked up in the top. Then I'll grind it. Okay, that's done. Whoops. I haven't had one of those spin arounds in a long time. I guess I would do that. Let's find our way back out. And we're going to take this new elixir to Sarah and see if that helps her. Sarah's here. Okay, that rail did seem to continue on inside of the cave. So if it failed, I guess I wouldn't have done the combination like this.
Man, let's try to help Sarah again. You again. What do you want? I believe this will help you. Why should I trust you after last time? You could be trying to poison me. Why would I do that? Okay. I will try it. If it helps me, I'll help you get to third. Now go away and leave me alone for a while. And alright, Sarah wants us to leave her alone for a while, so we're going to do that. In fact, this has been going on for a bit right now too. So what I think we're going to do is I think I'm going to call this a break point here since we have to wait. And when we come back, we'll continue everything we need to do in the various worlds. It's one world we haven't even visited yet. And we will continue on our quest for the Sacred Rings. This is Dennis, Hand Staff of the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.